Tapir is an exercise progression that trains and informs the muscles and fascia that is part of the paired urinary bladder and small intestine channels in Chinese medicine. That's a whole bunch of words if you aren't a practitioner of Chinese medicine, but basically it just means that it features a movement pattern that links the pushing action of the pecs and triceps with the straightening or extension of the spine. This exercise can then progress into a press to handstand. As you can easily see, this is a difficult maneuver for me, but it's the basic movement pattern that interests me anyways. The training progression can be done either on parallel bars or on rings. I prefer rings, especially for the first exercise, but let's briefly look at the parallel bars. The focus of the first exercise is to warm up and train the channels. This involves a coiling exercise, which is initiated by drawing a circle with the elbows. The circle creates rotation in the shoulder joint and drives the movement into the spine. Muscles in the shoulder, back, and chest are lightly to moderately engaged. The same movement pattern can then be put into a dip warm-up, dips, and even L-sits into a handstand. As you will see, I am not all that close to the press to handstand. I tried while recording for the video just to see my progress without really any intention of including it, and it didn't go so well. I will do another video later with better training progressions for this part of the exercise that maximize progress while minimizing chances of injury. Now you can see why I prefer rings for the first exercise. Since the rings move, this coiling exercise is much more dynamic. It is a great maneuver to mobilize the shoulder girdle and spine while setting the stage for other progressions. When doing this exercise, you can focus on the elbow circles, pointing the elbows to the side as you bow the chest, then rotating and dropping the elbows down towards the ground as you lift and open the chest and straighten the spine. The hands can gently push into the rings, following the general angle of the bands. You're not trying to exert a great amount of force, but just enough to feel engagement. The main goal is that you are linking the push with the straightening extension of the spine. Working with rings is far more challenging than parallel bars due to their instability. I love working with rings for this reason. If you're new to rings, you might want to start with an assisted dip. The elbow movement is still present, though much smaller, and you want to work towards locking the elbows out at the top of the dip. As you progress to full dips, the movement of the elbows, shoulder girdle, and spine becomes smaller as the focus becomes more about stabilization. However, the same movement should be present. If I can't get into a handstand on parallel bars, the rings aren't going to be any more accessible. But it's worth seeing my bad form to at least see that you can progress in this direction from the dips. I like to close with the first coiling exercise. It feels far more active after the more physically demanding portions and it reinforces the link between the push and the movements of the elbow, shoulder, and spine.